So we'll leave that one the same length and it can hook down right to the coils. So this, this collector, sorry I was calling it the emitter, that's the one you're going to have your diode on. Also, so you can hook it up here if you wanted to. I prefer to do it right on the coils. It's just less fucking around with the strain on the transistors connections. This one's not like solid core. That's it, now you got one big transistor. That's a, pretty much just one transistor. Three of them working as one. That's what you want. This part here is going to be just connected with a clip until I know if the directions are right. to go
of that and then just tie it right to here to the collector. And I, I don't remember which way this was, so we're just going to go with it. Got to figure it out, so I might as well just do it like this. So I'll show you first, though, one thing I should show first before I do anything else here. Okay, here's a 12 volt battery. See, I've got two coils here, right? But to figure out which direction the windings are. This is what I do. Connect that up to there. See, this is a tail light bulb signal light instead of running full 12 volts to it. You can Can get a good idea, right? Like that. For that coil, right? So, you, to make sure that they're both working together. Should actually just hook to this one first and then you'll know, right? See, it wants to work, right? But if it wasn't connected properly it wouldn't try to turn the rotor they would cancel each other out so now that's hooked up like that this here can go to one of the coil ends collector which is on this hope you guys can see this collector is the center top that's where that's going. And then here, I've got it so the diode is hooked up right there to the output. That's what I'm hooking up now. I'm just going to be using alligator clips for this until I know everything's connected properly. Actually, I can actually solder that one on because if I have to, I'll just reverse the leads on the trigger coil.
So that's the whole negative side. And your because your negative going into the coils is the positive that comes out of the motor for your output. Because all you're doing with this diode is you're collecting that back spike. You're collecting the opposite of what goes into the motor. wires do I want to use for this? I can use this as a positive here for the input. Just using scrap wires that I got laying around here, so so this part here, I'm gonna hook to the capacitor. I've got a 25 volt capacitor, 3300 UF. Connect that to the positive side of it, solder it on, but it's easier with new capacitors. So that's completely soldered on to the positive. So this longer piece of wire can go to the input battery. This piece will go to the coil, the small, shorter piece. And this part of the capacitor will be soldered directly to the emitter of the transistor right here. You guys can do it however you want, I'm just doing it because I'm f the sake of this video to show where everything goes. And I'm not hooking up a, a output capacitor, that's optional. If you want to put one, you just hook it up parallel with the battery, which is pretty simple to figure out. So now with this positive wire that goes to the coil, I need the negative wire that goes to the battery output, to the output battery, connected to it.
to use this battery right here as the output battery since it's here.